All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a microphone to your PTZ. Here we have one of our Pro Series PTZ cameras, and it has a breakout cable that says audio on it, and the one to the left-hand side is actually in, the center is ground, and the right is out. So I've connected a short Cat5e cable, and you just need to strip the leads off of them, connect them into the connector. So this one here is audio in, and this is ground. And then we're gonna use a special connector we've got. It's a Balin with an RCA built in, and the solid wire is gonna be positive, and the stripe wire is gonna be negative. So positive going to audio in, negative going to ground on the connector. This carries the audio from the mic, so I'm gonna connect this connector into the RCA audio on my microphone. And then, in this case, this is 12 volt DC power. So this client wanted everything to be PoE, so I'm using a PoE splitter to take PoE plus power or PoE power and split it into 12 volt one amp and power this microphone. It's a regular indoor security camera microphone. So now I've got everything um, to basically take the audio, put it into the camera, and take the uh, 12 volt power and from the PoE and put it into the mic. Now, just to show you the leads, these are just two simple wire leads. Make sure you strip the copper off of your Cat5e cable. Don't just plug it in there expecting it to work. You gotta expose the copper on both ends here and on this one as well. You gotta strip the ends on the copper. Now, there's another way to connect it if you don't have one of these connectors. You can use a video balin. It has to be at least an analog video balin. So I've got a inexpensive video balin and I put a um, a regular BNC female to RCA male connector on it to convert the BNC into RCA. And same thing, it has a positive and negative. They're all polarized, so you make sure you just uh, input your wire securely. We only suggest using Cat5e or Cat6, that's solid copper. If you use cheaper wire, you may have audio sig signal quality issues. If you use cheap balance, you're gonna have a lot of audio quality issues as well. And the runs can't be too far. I wouldn't do this for more than a 100 foot run in between the microphone and the camera itself. So now I can just connect it in here. Same exact thing, but with using a video balance to send audio. Next part, we'll show you how to enable audio uh, on your PTZ camera.